Okay, fifth graders, <clears throat> I'm doing this in the morning before I completely lose my voice. <clears throat> this is a Friday morning. This will be your homework for tonight, although you guys will get a chance to work on it in class. So we're starting, we're jumping right into 9-1. <clears throat> what page is this? I'm looking at page, um, looks like page uh, 387. And uh, so much of this you, you guys already know. <clears throat> but I wanted to go over some of these problems anyways. And uh, <clears throat> I'll highlight the ones that I want you guys to do here. So, yeah, I want you to do one. I want you to do two. I want you to do three, four, and five, and six, seven. Um, and I've already done these for you, really. So I'm looking at number one. It says explain how to write three tenths. Three over ten is a division expression. So you'd write three as the dividend and ten as the divisor. <clears throat> number two, it says explain how to write two divided by five as a fraction. Write two as the numerator and five as the denominator. And then it says use the number line below to show three divided by four. All I did is divided it up into sections of three fourths. Three divided by four. And you can see each one there. <clears throat> you guys can just copy these down. Four and five, it says write a division expression for each fraction. Um, you, you should recognize, you know, one over nine is the same thing as one divided by nine. For number five, seven over eight is the same thing as seven divided by eight. And you guys already know this. Number six, five friends share eight apples. Um, so eight divided by five. Number seven here, two friends share one bagel. Um, one divided by two. Or, you know, one over two, one and a half. I mean, there's a couple different ways you can do these. <clears throat> Independent practice here. Um, write a division expression um, for each fraction. So I'll do number eight here for you. That's going to be six divided by seven. Okay. So I want you guys to do uh, do all those eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So thirteen, seventeen. Write a division expression as a fraction. Okay. So we have 9 divided by 11. Well, so that's going to be 9 over 11. Because remember that line right there means divided by. So if we write it from top to bottom, it's 9 divided by 11. So you guys can do 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Number 18. Um, eight students share six breakfast bars. Um, <clears throat> so they have six breakfast bars that are being divided by eight students. Or if you were to reduce it, what would that be reduced? Well, two goes into six three times, two goes into eight four times. Okay? It says tell what fraction, so you're writing a fraction. So I want you guys to do um, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Next page. <clears throat> says uh, four friends are baking bread. They equally share three sticks of butter. Write an equation to find the fraction of a stick of butter that each friend uses. So you gotta write an equation. Remember the other day I said an equation always has an equal sign. So it's going to be something divided by something equals something. And that equals, let me just tell you this, um, what, what it's going to equal is going to be a fraction. It's going to be something over something. Okay, that's a horrible question mark. A question mark looks like my voice just crackly and a mess. Let me write a better question mark. There we go. I feel better. So 23. 
Uh, yeah, I want you guys to do uh, 22. 23. Uh, group of friends went to the movies. They share two bags of pot. Okay, you can do 23. 24. I order thinking. Missy says that 5 over 6 equals 6 by... Oh, okay. Missy's mistaken. And you can explain that. Why or why not? <clears throat> 25. Table shows food and drinks. Tabitha bought for herself and four friends. How much did Tabitha spend for each person? Show your work. Yeah, you guys can do that. 25. Alright. Um, did I get 26 and 27 in there? I did. I actually want you guys to do those. Um, I will tell you this. That there is one answer. Only one is going to be correct for those. All right. Okay, uh, that's nine one. Guess what, you guys? I want you to do nine two, because this isn't going to take you very long. All right. So we, here we are in nine two, and um, I'm just jumping right in. And, and again, this is stuff you guys know. Um, let's see here. This is this is an example. <clears throat> Three friends go hiking. They bought a tub of trail mix to share equally. How much will each friend get? Well, um, let's see here. It's four pounds. If if there's three friends, uh, they're gonna eat. It's gonna be four divided by three. I mean, they do it there for you. It's just an example, okay? Um, I'm not worried about the convince me. Um, guided practice. Next page. What page is this? This is page. Page um, 391. Okay. Um, how can you write 10 over 3 as a division expression, expression and, and as a mixed number? Well, a division expression, not a fraction. It would be simply 10 divided by 3. But as a mixed number, 10 over 3, how many times does 3 go into 10? It goes in three times, that's going to be nine, with one left over, and the denominator stays the same. Um, and I'll just put a comma, and so that's three and one third. And again, you guys know how to do these. Uh, number two, suppose three friends want to share 16 po posters equally. For this situation, why does the quotient five remainder one make more sense than the quotient five and one third huh well um i'm gonna help you out here each friend gets five posters with one left over. Would you cut up the one left over? No, of course not. You're not gonna you're not gonna take a poster and cut it into sections. You're not gonna you'd ruin it. So that's why it makes more sense than than five and a and one third. You're not gonna cut it up into well I got this in the fourth, but you got you know what I'm saying. Okay. Um, let's see here. Number three. Um, find 11 divided by 10 and 10 divided by 11. Um, write each quotient as a fraction or a mixed number. Okay. So actually, I'm going to say write them as both. And I'll do the first one here for you. Okay. Oh, well, actually, you can't do both as a mixed number. <clears throat> so I take that back. Um, so one of these will be a mixed number, and one can be a fraction. So there's two answers I'm looking for here. There's two answers. You're going to put one here and one here. All right. Uh, so three you can do. Four. Four you can do. Let's see, tell how much each person gets as they share equally. Yeah, you guys can do that. 
<coughs> five. Moving down a little bit. So six here, it says find each quotient, write each answer as either a fraction or a mixed number. 11 divided by six. Okay, well, you could write it as a, whoop, what happened there? Is it still recording, I hope? Yes, okay. Uh, you could either write it as 11, whoops, I'll get it, 11 over 6, or um, 6 goes into 11 once with 5 left over, okay, there's 6 done for you. So you can do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you can do these two, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, <coughs> four friends share <coughs> seven bagels. What's going to be divided? Well, the seven bagels are going to be divided. So it's going to be seven divided by the four friends. Or you can write four goes into seven once. What's left over? Three left over. So, if you can also do a mixed number in some of these, go ahead and do that. <clears throat> All right, last page on 9, uh, nine two. I think I have it down here. Here we go. Yeah, we got it. We got it. You could do 18, um, 19, 20. I'm not bothering reading these because I don't want to lose my voice. Um, let's see here. Certainly 22. And did I get uh, 23? Nope. You don't have to do 23 and 24. How nice is that? Uh, let's look at 21 here for a second. It says, <clears throat> write a word problem that can be solved by dividing 6 divided by 5. Yeah, you guys could do that. I mean, I could make one up here. Um, let's see here. Um, six boys. No. Six fifth grade boys um, found um, Found, let's see here, 19 uh, off world. That's another word for alien. Off world, um, off world transilizers. Okay, transalizers. I have no idea what that is because I just made it up. <clears throat> um, let's see here. So, each boy would get how many Transalizers. That's the question. And uh, write it as a mixed number. Okay. All right. Um, there you go. So you have to uh, give me your answer. Right in there, right? Is it a mixed number? So you got to make up your own, man. I made up one, and you can make up one. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm glad I have this done before I lose my voice. Because once I start talking to you guys for about an hour, my voice is going to be gone. So uh, you guys will work on this today and over the weekend. I'll see you guys Monday. We'll be great jumping into Chapter 9.